What's up, Lock Nation? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Kenyatta here, and today I have another banger for you guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out on a lot of greatness. So go follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description box. And if you're learning a lot, drop some love on my cash app at dollar sign earthlocks. This helps me a lot. It also helps to support the channel. Step one to starting this style is separate the hair into two sections. And to create those two sections, the first thing we're going to do is make a part. Starting behind the ear, going straight up across the and crown. And down to the other side. Okay. So once we create our part right across the crown, we're going to put the front. We're going to separate the front. And leave that out of the way for now. We're going now to that we have step one done and our first section is out of the way, we're going to work with the second section and the next step is to basically make two parts on the back section. We're going to part the hair straight down the middle, just like so. Now we have two sections of hair. Once we make that part down the middle, we're going to make a second part. Okay? Going straight across. Say about that. All right. We're going to separate the hair. Okay. We're also going to do the same thing on the other side. And once you separate so. your hair into these four sections, we're going to get started with our And the first thing that we're braids. going to do is take two locks right here at the bottom. Okay, and we're going to do a X, just like so. Okay, now this lock that crossed over, we're going to take this lock here, and we're going to cross it over that lock. We're going to go over, just like so. And that second lock, we're going to go under just like so. We're gonna do a figure eight. We're gonna come back around, over that first lock, under that second one. And these two locks here, these two locks here are our stitch locks, okay? And we will be doing a figure eight, okay? All the way up, okay? So we're gonna go under that lock there and we're gonna come back, right back around, over, just like so. Now, we're going to add in another lock. We're going to take this lock here, and it becomes a part of this section. All right? Just like so. We're going to take this lock here, and we are going to cross over. Just like so. And that other lock becomes a part of that section here. Okay? And we're going to go around. It's like a figure eight. Just like so. And the locks that are behind, we can just add them into a section, just like this. Add them into the section as you go along, okay? Just add it in. I'm going to add it here since there's only two. We're going to continue our figure eight under, around, okay? And under, okay? Now we're going to add another lock. We're going to take our stitch lock, which is this lock here, and we're going to add it into this section. We're going to pick up a lock here, and we're going to go over. All right? Then we're going to go under. Continuing our figure eight, we're going to pick up these locks here in the back, add them to this section, add it to this section. Just hold it. And we're going to continue our figure eight with our stitch lock. We're going to go under, around, looping those locks in the back end as well. Figure eight under, right back over. Okay, take your time. Make sure this is not tight on your client, okay? Under, all right? And we have reached the point, we have reached the point that we want to add a new lock in to the braid. So this stitch lock becomes a part of this section here. And we pick up our new lock right here. And we're going over, okay? And then we are going under, just like so. Continuing our braid, make sure it's together and seamless. Under, you know, over. All right? 
holding the locks, we're going under. Okay? Right over again. Okay? Continue. Under. Figure eight. Right around. Over. Just like so. We're going to pick up these two locks in the back. Add them to these sections here because they're just right there. Continuing our figure eight. Under. Okay? We can also add this lock here into the section, just like so. And we're going to continue with our stitch lock, figure eight. Looping all locks into the braid. Okay, feel free to just push it down a little bit if you need to, because you want it to be seamless. Okay, it shouldn't be tight at all, so it should be easy to do that. And now we're in a section where we want to add a lock in, so that stitch lock becomes a part of of this section we pick up a new lock and we're going over okay that section under the second section okay continuing our figure eight around then under all right continuing our figure eight over okay under okay around figure eight over Okay, now before I go over, I'm actually going to stop here. This lock, which is our stitch lock, becomes a part of this section here. All right, because now I'm going to add up, there's a lock here, and I'm going to add it in by taking the lock and we're going over just like that. All right, and then we're going under with that lock. And that stitch lock becomes a part of this section here. Okay, then we're going to figure eight around remember you don't want this to be tight okay it should be secure but not pulling on your client's locks okay so make sure you can just move it down like this if you need to just to make sure that it's seamless okay make sure it is and don't pull on the locks we're going to continue our figure eight i'm going to stop here add that to this section because now i'm about to add a lock in this lock here can add into this section like so right into the back and our stitch lock also goes in this section this becomes our new stitch lock we're going over okay then we're going under all right figure eight around looping all of the rest of those locks in at the back here stitch lock goes around over looping all of those locks okay eight figure eight continuing Okay, we're coming up on the end. Stitch lock goes into this section. We're going to pick up. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So, now that this stitch lock is short and we've pretty much reached the top here, and we're going to cross over into the next we section. That short stitch lock that we want to continue our figure eight but we don't want to add any new locks. So I'm going to take that stitch lock, I'm going to pick up a new lock from this section, okay? And this stitch lock becomes a part of this section. So take the stitch lock, make it a part of this section, just like so, overlap with that new lock, come around, figure eight. Just continue to do your figure eight. Make sure it's loose so that your locks are seamless. You also want it to be secure. All right, but do not pull like pull and yank as you're doing this, okay? You want it to be very, very comfortable, okay? I just picked up a, all right? Continuing, okay? So what I'm going to do now is pick up a new lock in this new section that I'm working in. So I'm going to pick up this lock here, take the rubber band off, of course. Now that we're in this new section and we've literally crossed over, I'm going to take a new lock here from the new section, starting at the bottom, and I'm going to cross over. Okay? Just like normal, figure eight, continue. All right, figure eight. We don't want it to be tight, so take your time. Figure eight. And continue this braid all the way. 
okay? a little bit maybe an inch or two just to take it into the ponytail that's going to be right at the front okay so I've done the figure eight a little bit all right I'm going to go ahead and add a rubber band to one side just to secure all right as you can see we've done our first braid in the back we started on this side okay and we came up crossed over into this section now we're going to start here with this section and we're going to come up cross over the braid and into this section here so we're going to go ahead and get that done on this side and there's no more locks to be added what we're going to do to cross the braid over is continue our figure eight without adding any new locks until we get to the other side and add in the new section so figure eight as we continue to do this figure eight we're just going to be adding locks from these sections until we get up section you just remove the rubber band just remove the rubber band now we're going to continue the braid with the hair at the top here I'm just going to grab a lock just like before we're going to overlap okay figure eight continue figure eight our two braids in the back we're going to take that front section that we separated earlier and just bring it up just like so we're going to add these two braids into the ponytail I've secured the ponytail here at the front and what we're going to do once we secure the ponytail at the front we're going to go ahead and get started on our lock pedals okay we're going to be doing some lock pedals right here at the top and we're going to kind of make them come like a little bang here on the side so we're going to go ahead and get started with to do lock these pedals. lock pedals we're going to start off the hair to the side we're going to start off right here where they're going to hang so we're going to grab a lock and we are going to take one lock and we're going to loop it and we're just going to measure where we want the loop to end. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Because I want the loop to hang just at her eyebrow. So I'm going to secure the lock pedal here. Let's 
one lock pedal and we're going to continue creating our lock pedals okay so the lock pedals that are here at the bottom are going to be one loop lock pedals that hang just above the eyebrow. once you've completed your two crisscross braids in the back and you put it all into a ponytail at the top go ahead and get started with your lock pedals on the hair that's hanging here okay check out my detailed tutorial right here at the top of the screen how to do lock pedals I'm not going to be showing you guys individually how I do these lock pedals because they're so repetitive. So check out that detailed tutorial how to do lock pedals and here is the finished look. so much for tuning in and watching my video I really do appreciate it share this video with all of your friends and family with locks any locticians that you know seeking lock styling inspiration don't forget to hit the like button comment down below and let me know what you think about this video subscribe turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video from your girl y'all know I'm right with y'all the long way right you better know it it's your girl Kenyatta here peace